Hey guys, welcome back to my vlog channel. I do not post here much and if you're here, you probably either came from my main channel, which is Paper Terrace, where I do lots of crafting, or maybe you were searching for some new beauty products from Amazon. So I'm really excited to share with you uh, my top 10 items that I use mostly for face. Um, there is one thing that is more like a body product, but uh, we're just gonna hop right in. I'm gonna share these items in no particular order. And these are things that I have been using for months. So I love them very much and I've repurchased many of them. And I do lots of these Amazon type videos over on my craft channel. So if you like this style and you are new here, um, definitely go check that channel out. I'll have it linked below and we're gonna get started. So like I said, most of these are facial products. So um, I am trying to think of what order I should have figured that out first. Well, I'm gonna start with one of my top faves, something that was super new to me, something I've been wanting for a long time, and that is this uh, spin brush, a facial, facial brush here. Now I have seen so many different brands and styles of these for a while, and I've wanted one, but a lot of them are more expensive like the hundred dollar range and i just didn't want to put that much money into something if i wasn't sure i would actually even use it so i thought let me just test one out from amazon a very inexpensive version and see if i even actually use it and i have been taken back and i love this one i don't even want to buy a more expensive one but i use this almost every single time that i wash my face um so basically what it comes with is the little brush part here of course and um, when you turn it on there's just one but or there's two buttons but when you turn it on it just goes like this and then it has different speeds as well and so you can decide you know how fast or how slow you want it to go um, and I use this basically when I'm washing my face for any of my uh, face wash my uh, makeup remover and things like that um, and then it's also great for exfoliating so it comes with the three brushes um, sorry mine are probably a little dirty just because I actually use them but this one's like just a soft kind of I guess microfiber type brush and then it comes with another one where the bristles are just a little bit closer together um, I don't really notice a difference on this one between the two I will say that so I don't usually actually change too much between this one and the other but when I need to change this one when it starts to get really gross it'll be nice to have this as a backup but the one I really really like for exfoliating I do have somewhat dry skin is this one right here and it is more of like a rubbery feeling um I guess probably silicone is the right word. I hope you can see that. So it has little teeth kind of thing, um, but they're very soft. And so it is really great for um, exfoliating. And so we'll start next with the products that I use for exfoliating. And I love this one right here. Now, of course, I'm mentioning that I got all these things from Amazon because I just have found them to be really good prices and Amazon's just so convenient. So I'll have all, all of the things linked below, but feel free to, you know, get these ideas and get them wherever you want. But I, um, I was reading the reviews on an exfoliator, um, a bunch of exfoliators on Amazon, and this one was recommended. And so it is the Aveeno Positively Radiant Skin Brightening Daily Scrub. And as I mentioned, I do have pretty dry skin, but I have oily, oily through like the T-zone. So I guess combo skin. Um, and yeah, I am on my second bottle of this I need to get some more it has a light scent um, yeah just very light nothing strong and it just has very teeny little exfoliating um, like balls I guess you would call them and so love using this along with the silicone brush head right there um, I guess I should back up though because a lot of times if I'm wearing makeup before exfoliating, I like to take my makeup off. I'm gonna probably hopefully give you a few demos so you can see how good this stuff is. Um, and this is the Juno Skin uh, Clean 10 Cleansing Balm. Mine is completely kind of rubbed off here so it's hard to tell. 
This stuff also was, I think this was recommended to me from TikTok and it is just like a, almost like a coconut oil balm. It's, yeah, it's just a balm. Um, it's just very slippery and oily and it is amazing at taking off all of your makeup waterproof um i mean i use waterproof mascara and this comes off in one go and it is important to use this on dry skin um, because that way it will actually get like all of your waterproof makeup off and then you can add a little bit of water and it turns into a milky consistency and it leaves your skin so soft this also has a light scent um kind of like a citrusy scent if you are curious now, I'm gonna mention something that you might think is a little silly, uh, or uh, maybe you're used to this, but I actually do shave my face, like peach fuzz and everything, because I find that makeup applies so much better. I like just a really silky skin. All of us have at least peach fuzz. And so I get these little teeny razors here that are perfect for even if you just wanna clean up like around your brow area, um, the mustache area um, and yeah they're just like a little I guess uh, it's called dermaplaning and so the other thing that I just love these for is again if you're someone that has any wet dry skin or textured skin um, this is just so perfect at getting all of those dead cells off I'm trying to get it to focus it's so little um, and so you do have to be careful because if you press too hard, you can absolutely cut yourself. It is a razor blade, but I, I feel like after I've used these one or two times, I kind of got used to how, um, you know, rough I can be or how gentle I need to be around certain areas. And so this is a nine pack because these are reusable and I love using these. I probably only use them maybe once a month sometimes twice a month. It just depends if I'm having really dry skin because like I said, it's really, really good for uh, removing and exfoliating um, dead skin off. Okay, so a lot of times after I do that, I want to really nourish, nourish my skin and I love using oils. Now, don't be afraid. If you're someone that also has oily skin, this doesn't leave your face feeling oily. It really sinks in. And this is a rose multi-use oil, um, and you can see it has so it has a, a apricot apricot oil, sweet almond oil in it as well, and you can use it on hair, nail, and body. Um, and so yeah, in here you can see there is like rose petals and other little pieces in there. Um, this one again has a really light scent. It's definitely more rosy, so some people I feel like are maybe sensitive to rose smelling items. Rose smelling items, that's not what I meant to say. Rose smelling products, there we go. Um, but I love it and I, I probably use this twice a day honestly because I even use it on my cuticles. Um, anywhere that I have dry skin, I put it in the ends of my hair and on my face, absolutely love that. I like to follow up with this um, Garnier Refreshing Gel Cream. I never really know the names of these things. That's why I keep having to look. Um, I am about halfway done with this one. This is a really light moisturizer. So um, I like to use a variety of moisturizer, moisturizers as you can see because like this one, I like to just put this one on before bed. But for me during the day, it's not quite enough. Um, and that is where we come in with something that's a bit more spendy and I I just I have to tell you about it because I am obsessed with this. It's the Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream. Again, you can get this at places like Sephora and whatnot, but um, I also have got it on Amazon and so it is just the best. So whether, no matter where you get it, if you are looking for a very good moisturizer, this is expensive and I try to be pretty cheap on all my products. Like most of what I've shown you is really inexpensive. This is definitely more spendy, but oh my gosh, the smell, I don't know how to describe it. It is just amazing. It just, it reminds me of going to get a facial and like just how the whole room smells. I don't really know, but it is a thicker cream and it is something that really goes a long way. You really just need a little bit. This is my second and I will have to keep repurchasing it. It comes with this cute little spoon on top. 
um, so you can scoop it up and you don't have to use your hand to keep it all sanitary since it is in a tub and I I just yeah I won't be able to use anything else this is my absolute favorite so let's see I have one more that's Amazon and I have to throw something in here that's not but um, so I had been trying to do the curly hair method I think it's called because I have um, I have naturally curly hair and I found that I didn't really really love scrunching my hair and doing that but what I did find is a product that I love on my hair even when I'm not using it as a curl like a curl uh, product and it is called cake the curl friend totally to die for defining curl cream so obviously this is meant for when you're curling your hair but the reason i liked it is because it actually really smooths your hair like i have lots of baby hairs it smooths my baby hairs down but it's not oily it's like a really light texture it smells really good it actually does smell like cake but i will say that that scent it does wear off which i'm glad because i don't know if i want to be smelling like cake all day i mean actually i probably would <laughs> but either way um yeah and it's inexpensive got it from amazon i'm guessing you can get it from other places um but i kind of use it like a leave-in conditioner but no, I guess, I don't know. I, I use it like as my last step of my hair just to smooth everything down. It doesn't really give shine. It just makes your hair feel really soft. So yeah, it says glossy silk styling, frizz fighting, curl defining. So I'm definitely liking it for the frizz fighting um, part of it, but had to mention that. So like I said, the last item that I wanted to mention, not from Amazon, or at least I don't think, but it is Dose. I, I always think it's Dossier but I heard someone else say Dose. So I guess I don't know. I think it's Dossier and it's perfume. And they basically sell dupes to more expensive perfumes. This is my fourth bottle of perfume and this is my favorite scent. It is called Ambery Saffron and it's supposed to be a dupe for, what was that? Gosh, now I can't think of what the dupe is um baccarat rouge baccarat rouge yeah there we go and that perfume is like hundreds of dollars i did kind of spray that in my face and so i it's like i'm sure it's over a hundred dollars it's a very expensive perfume this to me smells exactly like it it is so good and like i said this is my fourth bottle um all of the other bottles were different in scents and there was one scent i didn't like i don't remember what it was but it was so easy to send back and they give you instructions and tell you how to send back if you don't like it and it just seems like a really great company so i wanted to mention that just because we're talking about beauty things and i needed one more item so i will put the link below i don't know if i have any like referral codes or discounts that i can offer you know sometimes when you buy something you just are offered that so I will put any of that information down below, but this was fun. I don't usually do this kind of thing on this channel. Just wanted to try it out. So um, that's all for this video. If you have any questions, leave them below. If you want to see more Amazon videos, check out my craft channel. Um, maybe I'll do more of these with like my favorite Amazon house finds or bathroom items and things like that if you guys want. So um, we'll see you in the next video. Have a lovely day. Bye guys.